Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to test your ignition coil. So what I'll be showing you is test how to test the primary and secondary coil in there. And all you'll need is a multimeter for this. And I'll go ahead and start. We'll move this one out of the way and test this one. So this one has a condenser on it. If you're wondering if you're having spark issues from your ignition coil or condenser, I'll be showing you how to test the ignition coil, but I've also got videos that I'll link in the description for testing the condenser. All you need is this. So on this, you have the primary coil and the secondary coil. And the secondary coil will have a much higher resistance. It'll be between here and here, which I'll show you in a second. And you've got the primary coil which is between, you'll have a tab on there, sometimes connected to the condenser, sometimes just a wire, sometimes just a tab. But we'll start off with the primary coil. So we'll do set the multimeter to 200 since this is a much lower resistance. And what we should expect when we stick this on is to see around one ohm. Somewhere around there is fine. If you see a way high reading, then you know you've got something wrong with your ignition coil. So what we'll do is stick the black lead to the casing somewhere. Stick the red lead to the tab or wire, whatever you have. So what we can see right here is around 1.3, 1.4, around one ohm, what you would expect. So that's good. So you just test between the tab and the casing for your primary coil resistance. Next thing you want to do is we'll switch 20K since this is much higher resistance. So what we'll do with this one is stick the red lead into the wire. If you can see that. You can also test this with the boot. Anything's fine. Just make sure you've, got, you've changed this or else you won't be able to read it. Next thing we'll do, we'll do the same thing as the primary coil. We'll just stick this to the casing. sure I have a good connection here. It's around 5.78K, so 5,700 ohms, which is, a, for this ignition coil is fine. So around one ohm for the primary coil, you'll see anything around 5K, usually for the um, secondary coil. So we'll go on it and test this one. Same thing pretty much. We've just got a single coil, single spark plug ignition coil again. Same thing, this one doesn't have a condenser on it. We'll be measuring the primary coil through this tab right here. So we'll first start off by going back to 200. Same thing, stick your black lead to the case, stick your red lead to here. So this one's around 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohms, which is lower, but still around one ohm. So primary coil is good on this one. So to test your secondary coil, switch it over to 20K, same thing. Stick the red lead in here, make sure to get a good connection, and stick the black lead to the casing. So this one's around 2.6K um, ohms. So this one's probably good too. And I'll do another, let me bring this over here. This one has a wire. So we'll just slide this in and I'll show you that you can test this with the wire on there too. Just stick this in there. So again, around 2.6. So that's how you test it. You can just test your primary and secondary. It doesn't really matter if it has a condenser, just a tab, just a wire, same way pretty much. And if you have any questions about how to test your condenser, just remember I have a video on that and I'll link that in the description. If you have any other questions, you can just ask me in the comments and I'll probably be able to answer them.